So last year, I wanted to have a go in the mermaid challenge, which was set up by Tom Bancroft. So this little character is called Harmony and it's the mascot for the mermaid. Uh, so if you go to like the mermaid official page, I think it's on Facebook as well as Instagram. I usually follow it on Instagram. It's got a website as well. And you can see that it's the little mascot and that's where you can get hold of these images as well. It's also on Whitney's actual Instagram page as well. So Whitney Pollock, and you can see them on there. You might find that by the time you watch this video, guys, they might be much further down the reel, but they're, they're on there and they're definitely worth having a look through all her little artwork pieces, the fab. So I'm gonna start by creating like a little seashell or sea snail for my version of her to sit on. I want to try and get her as close as possible to this, but yeah, let's start with something to sit her on. And I'm just mixing some brown and cream together. It's just modeling paste that I'm using, guys. So I'm flattening one end, you know, it's to be thicker at that end and we're rolling it so it's nice and thin at the other. And then we're just gonna curl it around to make our little snail shape. I'm just gonna add a bit of colored powder. So this is all edible dust that I'm using on here, just so it's a little bit less plain color wise. So I'm just lightly dusting it on around the edges of the swirl. So I'm gonna start with her mermaid tail and I'm gonna mix a little bit of the green with the Tiffany color to try and get it similar to what's in the picture. And I did print off some pictures of Whitney's drawings to try and use these as a rough guideline for sizing. And I'm just gonna shape that, pinching it at the top and where the sort of your knee joint would be if mermaids have knees. And so I say at the top, it's around the waist, sorry, not the top. And then we're gonna cut a little bit off like that. So we get that kind of shape. Just curl the bottom of her tail out a little bit and then sit her up at the waist. I'm just pressing in at the top of the shell a tiny bit so that she'll sit nicely on that and won't sort of fall off it too easily. Gonna add a bit of shading to the tail. Again, just using some edible dusts. And I'll put links below the video, guys, to everything that I've used in this one. Now, I did have a go at making other mermaids from mermaid as, as well as the mascot, because you can kind of design your own. And I realize it sounds like it's an advert for mermaid. It's not this video. I just wanted to take part in it last year. I didn't get to do all of the, the different bits in it. So I just kind of did what I could. I'm hoping to try and do bits from it again this year. Like I said, it's worth checking out. Definitely go have a look at the website, guys. For her face, I'm gonna take some blue. So I've actually used the Saratino modeling paste again, and I used the dark blue mixed with a bit of Tiffany, but it's actually gone a little bit darker than I was thinking it would, and so I wish I'd gone slightly paler just for this particular one, so it would match the image a little bit more. So we've created a face shape. I'm just gonna push in a nose. You can trim extra off the jaw if the jaw looks a little bit big. I'm using this particular tool just because it's sometimes a bit easier than getting your fingers in there. This is, um, it's a Carlos Lachetti hook tool. Again, I'll link it below, guys. Let's just poke her in a couple of little nostrils. I'm just pushing up, sort of into her cheeks. At this stage, she's looking a bit ugly. I'm not really doing a Whitney's character much justice. I'm gonna cut in a little mouth. Just press in at either side of the mouth. She looks a little bit happier that way. So her mouth's gonna look a bit big at first, but we are gonna close it up a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. Also, her jaw's a bit big, so we're just gonna cut some more off of that. I'm gonna stick some little curved pieces of blue in for her eyelids, and then we're just gonna put a line through there. So her eyes look like kind of they're closed while she's smiling. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of shading. Again, the face was probably dark blue enough without me adding the shading, but I thought it made it look slightly less flat in color by adding those little bits of shading. Also, I tried to make it match the picture. Like I say, mine is a bit darker than the picture probably was. And some pink for the cheeks. Fill the mouth with a little bit of black paste and a little bit of pink for the tongue. And let's get some teeth in the top. And I'm gonna put some pink over for the lips. Now I could have painted them on, but I thought she didn't have quite enough lip, so I added them on extra. Let's roll some thin pieces of black for the eyelashes. We're just gonna put them over the little middle bit of the eyelid and cut it off at the ends so we don't want them too long. So she's very happy, this mermaid. She's got a really big mouth. I probably went a little bit too big with the mouth. I'm gonna give her some little eyebrows to match her hair color. And you can see I kind of caught the skin under the nose a little bit, so it's a little bit untidy at that point. I tend to notice it more in the video afterwards than what I sometimes notice it when I'm actually doing it. Now for her hair, we're gonna add some polystyrene inside because it's a big piece of hair. It's gonna be very heavy and her body is only very small and it will struggle under the huge amount of weight. So it's modeling paste again that I'm using for the hair. 
The hair is going around two polystyrene balls. We've got a larger and a smaller one attached together. And I'm just gonna kind of wrap it around there. And anywhere that we get a fold, we want to try and turn into sort of a line of the hair. Then I don't have to blend out all those folds. So let's put some lines all the way around. So I realize it looks like an odd shape at the moment, but once it's on in place, it's gonna look much better. And then the face is gonna stick onto the front of there like so. Now, I tend to use pre-coloured modelling paste because it's just easier, but I'm very lazy. You can just buy it white and colour whatever colour you want, guys. And adding these extra pieces sort of around the face, joining with the rest of the hair, is going to make her face look more like it's part of the hair rather than a completely separate piece. So adding these fringe pieces to her. Is it called a fringe anymore? Is it bangs now? I don't know. I'm not, I'm old. I'm not with what people call things anymore adding some pieces to the side. Again, I'm looking at Whitney's image and drawing while I'm doing this, so it's not one that I've made up myself. And we're just gonna put on some thinner pieces of hair, see if we can get them to stay in a nice sort of wavy shape so it looks like they are underwater. And she kind of has like a light blue patch on each side of her head, which I had tried earlier putting it on with light blue powder. It didn't show very well, so I decided I was just gonna stick them over the top in blue like this. I don't know if they look nicer in powder or when I stuck them on. The problem is they stick out a little bit this way around. And obviously I've covered up the eyelashes as well, so I will have to fix that. Now, if you want to have the hair looking a little bit more shaded or a little bit less flat in color, you can take an edible pen and just run it into the lines of the hair that you've already put in there. And then you can break that up by just with a damp brush stroking through that so the lines become less prominent, less obvious, unless you want them to stay pretty strong. I started blending them out and then decided I was just gonna leave them. I'm gonna add some little pink starfish. Let's give her an ear so we'll put a little hole in the place that I want it to fit. Kind of just roll the little cone shape. It almost looks like a rose from the top. I'm just gonna push that in place where her ear goes. Just have to press in a little bit more with my tool. Where I've pushed it in with my finger, I've kind of lost the detailing a little bit. Add a bit of pink to that. Another starfish, a little bit of a deeper pink to the starfish as well. So this is just the powdered colors again. Get some starfish on her tail. And I'm taking a little bit more of that blue color that I used on her face. I am adding some extra CMC because this is gonna go in for her neck and it needs to be pretty firm, pretty solid. I'm also gonna go with a pale green and kind of create the tops of her shoulders and the part that will meet up to her neck. So I'm gonna push that onto the body piece. So we've got a cocktail stick in the top of the body. So that's gonna go on there, creating like our shoulders and the top of the chest. Then we want that little bit of a blue neck pushed on top of that. I could do with going slightly thinner, but I'm worried about it holding up so much weight. So we'll keep it fairly thick. I have put a wooden skewer in that's a little bit thicker now than that cocktail stick just to hold it all on. And I can push the head onto that. I'm gonna add some white pearls to her hair. I'm just gonna roll these with fondant, but actually if I'd have stuck little white sprinkles on, that probably would have been quite nice. Then we're gonna make the end of the tail. So we've got two different shades of blue, kind of going for teardrop shapes roughly, but rolling them out. Then we're gonna add some more of that kind of Tiffany blue that I mixed with a bit of green that we used in the bottom of her tail or the rest of her tail. And we're gonna push that on for patterning. I'm gonna roll it all in so it stays nice and flat. And then I'm gonna cut the ends of the tail to more of a fishtail kind of shape or fins. Is it fin? I should refer to it as a fin. And then I've kind of pinched them a little bit and curl the ends over a little bit. Turn over to the back so that you can put a little bit of patterning on the back as well. I'm just gonna create a thick base for her to sit on as well. She, I know she's already on the seashell. But I'm just gonna put a chunky bit of fuchsia modeling paste on there. I'm gonna stick her into that. So now she's pressed onto that base, it's just gonna give me something that I can push her tail against as well. So we're gonna stick the tail on using a bit of water. I'm kind of propping it up with all different things, so sticks and polystyrene balls and food coloring bottles. I can remove these once it's all dried, but until it's dry, they don't always want to stand up in the position that I want them. So for our arms, I'm taking a little bit of the blue. We're gonna roll them out, pressing down at the end of each one for the hand. Keeping them fairly simplistic shape-wise, these. Let's just cut in a little thumb. And I'm gonna try and remove some little triangles, leaving us with little pointy fingers. Just roll in a little bit thinner at the elbow joint. And I'm gonna cut a bit of an angle at the top of the arm. We're gonna add a little circle of blue. So this kind of matches the one that we put on the face. And I'm just gonna stick these in place using a little bit of water. And then let's add some more lighter blue to our arms. So I'm now pushing her head back in place. I realized the head was on earlier and I took it off again, but it's back on now. 
Her neck's maybe a little bit long. I wish I'd spent longer tidying up that neck, guys. But there she is, all finished. Don't forget, like, if you want to have a look at the mermaid stuff, I think really it was set up for artists. So there's like a prompt for each day of May and it's like a different theme that you create a mermaid around. And illustrators sketch things out, the different mermaids. And I just follow it because I think it's great. And I really wanted to get involved and try and make a few. So hopefully again this year, I will get to have a go at some more. And like I say, it's not an advert for it. I just made this last year, but I wanted to tell you guys about it because I thought it was quite a good thing. Thanks for watching.